Calvary is the place where Christ was crucified. Um, so it has that. Um, it's also a metaphorical idea of the burden of suffering you carry on your journey to the climactic conclusion, I guess. So the film, ha you know, he, the, the, the priest suffers in the movie and he has a burden to carry. Uh, yeah, I, I tend to write quite a lot of characters. I mean, I, I used to write novels when I was young, bad novels. I wrote about five of them. Uh, so I kind of think of myself as a failed novelist. So the films have a kind of novelistic quality and sometimes there's kind of too many characters in a way. But they're all meant to be quite rich. You know, they're all quite dense so that you hopefully you could actually follow one of the characters off into a movie of their own. And I think that means I actually I attract a, a really good cast because they know they might only have three scenes, but they're very kind of rich scenes and there was a fully formed character behind it. And just on a pragmatic level, when you're making a movie, to have a new, new actor come in each day, it's just reinvigorating, because obviously it's tiring uh, making films. But to have that new energy, each actor has a different style, that just keeps you ticking over as you're, as you're filming. I wouldn't say religious beliefs, maybe spiritual or philosophical ideas, you know, things everyone thinks about. I mean, I, I guess I stopped going to Mass when I was about 16. But that doesn't mean you stop thinking about why are we here, is there a God, you know. So it's just those sorts of themes. I'm not sure anyone could watch the film and know what I believe, really, because the film should appeal to people who are deeply religious, but it should also appeal to atheists, really. Um, so I'd, I'd be surprised if people knew what I actually believed after they watched the movie. Well, Brenda has mentioned, you know, the characters are all seem to be trying to destroy the priest, but they don't really want him to be destroyed. I think the priest represents a kind of ideal of goodness within them. Um, and so that in a way, they hope if he does survive, then in some way they can redeem their own lives, however negative they may feel, or however, however depressed or lonely, that there is, there is this kind of light in the world that he represents, and maybe they can achieve it as well even if they, some of them may do, there's a montage at the end of the film, some of them may achieve it and some of them may not. So he would have affected some of their lives, but others would have just ignored him. But you know, that's just life.